happy Monday. Welcome to the Squadcast, where I, Camille Salazar Hadway, and Aaron, we talk all things games with our friends. Today, we have uh, Steve Vagvari joining us, as well as the one and only Green Man himself, Green Skull. How are you doing, <laughs> man? <laughs> I'm just going to call and you only. The, yeah, the one and only. You're the only Green Skull I know of. I've, I've, there's there definitely, well, there's a, there, I believe there's a Marvel Green Skull character in the extended universe. <laughs> Hold on, wait, so are you telling us a you multiverse are? <laughs> you <Green> are? Skull. <laughs> it exists. You're in definitely. the Marvel universe as well. Yeah, definitely. I, I am. That's me. Um That's cool really guy. Cool. Yeah. That's wicked. <laughs> what is your power? I wait, I just need to dive deeper into this uh, what chat. It, so my, please uh, let, let us entertain this a bit more. Yeah, bring up the Wikipedia page. That's yeah, no, what's your power? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, no, it's, your it's, power? Let's, is it? I'll tell. I'll tell. Yeah, I'll tell you what my power is. <laughs> it is. Okay, I, uh, <laughs> I'm just remembering my power briefly right, here. Take your no, time. You're remembering. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, for There's one, good Googling good good news is all the things that pop up for Green Skull are all me. I can't even hey. find this character, <laughs> so I've officially beaten this character. Uh, Take that! Is it like a Wikipedia? I've I've read it before. It's a thing. There we go. Gr but it's Green Space Skull. Okay, it's a DC comic. Oh, owned by Marvel and DC. Here we go. Very important. Uh, Marvel and uh, it's uh, it's apparently uh, it's like he's like a Hydra dude, I guess. Classic. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Now it makes sense. Something in really. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This might be one of those crossover <laughs> things. Right. Somehow we're Hold on. unraveling the mystery of Marvel slash DC right here on the Squadcast. Observing that the green uh, meteorite endowed uh, meteorite endowed super soldier Luther Luther cre Luther creates a serum from it. Which he then injects it into himself. The result greatly extends his own lifespan, but inadvertently turns him into the cadaverous Green Skull. Wow. There we go. And and Chad, <laughs> now you know who Green Skull is, and the guy you see on the screen is not him. <laughs> by the meteor, the meteorite Green K. Okay. Thank you. Thank uh, you yeah. for that. I wonder what that, that is. Yes. Yes. Lore. Uh, thank you. Thank you for all that lore, Chad. That's um, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying to bring it back you know uh, to what we're supposed to do I today. Should. Um, chat, welcome back to the Squadcast. What an intro was that? We just learned a lot about the Marvel slash DC, or was it DC uh, Green Skull, and not enough about the Green Skull that's actually sitting right in front of you on your screens, but mm. it's okay because it's going to be a good one. Today, we're going to be chatting a lot about the Xbox Series X our impressions, as well as our time with the console and our overall, uh, I guess, like resolve at, or our overall impressions afterwards, uh, sure. our, our time with it. We're also going to be going into the PlayStation 5 and what to expect from that release, as well as, you know, Caboose is here, so we're going to talk about Spider-Man uh, a little bit as well with that. Spider-Man. Uh, Man, so uh, if you want to chime in on any of this, make sure to let your voice be heard in the chat, as well if there's any clippable moment, moments like that uh, little lore we got there of Green Skull, please <laughs> let us know and share it with us on Twitter. All right, let's, let's hop right into it. This week is going to be a monumental one for gaming as we leap into next-gen consoles, and the first console gamers could get their hands on that is next gen is the xbox series x and xbox series s now uh aaron steve we've talked about that before on the, the squad cast but mm -hmm. dan i actually want to get your impressions your first impressions with reveal i want to like before we go into actually your time with the console let me hear what you were thinking when you first saw the reveal of the xbox series x and s uh decelerated aging Decelerated aging is the superpower of Green Skull. Uh, he also has a vast <laughs> amount of wealth uh, and and scientific abilities. So now we know. Um, very important. That's not a very good superpower, um, unfortunately. It just it's not infinite aging. It's just he, he just ages less, I guess. So that's good. Okay. Um, All right. So on, on, regarding the Xbox Series X, I uh, yeah. I, so I <laughs> I actually love the presentation of of like the opening up experience of it. Um, I think Xbox they they do that 
so much better than than any company I can think of. Like, I mean, other than like an Apple, right? Apple definitely are really good at the, like, mm -hmm. the, it's all about the presentation. It's like, you know, they spend more on their boxes than their product kind of thing, right? Sure. Uh, Xbox is like that too, right? Where it's like, uh, I think we first started really seeing that with the Elite controller. When the first Elite controller came out, this like the, the packaging of it, it's, you know, they they make the unboxing an experience. And like yeah. this Series X did the same thing. You're like, oh, and like you're just taking it out and you're just, you know, like I, I don't know if you, uh, Kabushi saw my video where I was like, I, I unintentionally did it, but it's like when I'm, when you're like, you know, you're, you're, you're you're literally like unclothing this like this yes. like sexy console, right? And you're like, damn, <laughs> this is awesome. Right? Like it's a great experience. It's so cool. Yeah. yeah I agree. I, uh it's, it was nice. Yeah, it, it's whole like okay, firstly when they revealed the console, it was just done like I'm thinking of that first video with the reveal where you have that box and it was like this this lake, and you were seeing all the games that were mm -hmm. coming to Xbox um, or that are on Xbox within that box, and then the reveal. It was just so stylish. And in their packaging, like you mentioned, it was done so well. Firstly, this is like a small, small detail um, to how you get your Xbox. But you don't open the box as you would think you do. You open it like forward, like up, upright. Um, usually yeah. when you get a console, you like slide it out of the box, right? That yeah. threw me off. Like in <laughs> when I unboxed that that Xbox Series X, like I was like there with firstly like um a, a knife trying to like cut open all the tabs. You don't need, you didn't a knife. need to. Like, oh. I know, I know. They're handy. I I Those things were the best. The the so the, handy. Put that on every, every single thing. thing that's ever been packaged. It was really you what know? we're talking about, chat, is on the box for the Xbox Series X, there's these little tabs. They're like, they're tape, essentially, that have like a little lift that you could just pull and mm -hmm. rip off like the, the tape kind of holding the box together. Brilliant. So that was and it, brilliant. And it doesn't even peel like the, the box itself. It just no. comes off really clean. I was, I was shocked. Yeah. It, and it's, it sounds so stupid that we're talking about the tape on an Xbox box. Um, but but it was just so seamless. Yeah. And then you open it up in a different way. So it's like a weird experience when you're getting it as well, because you're like, okay, I've never opened a console like this uh, before. And it's wrapped like in a towel. You know, we're, we're going to sexify <laughs> this. It's wrapped in a towel just waiting for you to unravel. And it's just done like it's so sleek when it's in the box. It just looks so appealing and you're right xbox is other than apple like i think xbox is really good at having that style to everything they do um it's not just you know we're gonna put this thing in a box and ship it out to gamers it's like no we're gonna make this box look good and it's gonna feel good opening it and and that was one really cool thing i got from opening my xbox series x appealing yeah. like the tape Mm. Ah, all right yeah. that's it for me i am now leaving uh, <laughs> we're, done. <laughs> we're, we're done well well, let's talk about the box itself because biggest news um when we first got that look of the xbox before it was in our hands was how it how it looks it's a pretty hefty big boy um was that concerning to you guys when you actually got your hands on it were you wondering like um if it would fit on your entertainment consoles or did it surprise you on how light it was? Cause that was one thing that I was surprised by because every, all the pictures that I saw of the Xbox, I always just thought it'd be really heavy. I think it's actually lighter than the uh, one X when I was holding both of them in my hand. It's lighter than that. Um, I mean, yeah, in terms of like weight and stuff. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't seem like too heavy. It wasn't like a brick in my hands. Uh, I also just, for me, I like the shape of it. I like mm -hmm. the way that it is. I don't mind keeping it standing up. Uh, I know that you know that's something that's always a topic of conversation with these consoles is do you stand it up? Do you lie it flat? Although like for the most part with the last generation or the current generation of consoles, you mainly want to be lying them flat. Um, but with the Xbox, like, I don't know, turning this thing on its side just feels unnatural to me. And so with that, although it's still, it's still big, it's still tall, uh, with my specific gaming setup, it actually is a little more convenient in terms of mm -hmm. space, having it stand up. So I don't know. I, I like it. I like the size of it. It's not too big. It's not too heavy. Um, and yeah, it's a, it's a cool design. I keep looking to my left because it's like right here, <laughs> yeah. right next to me. Um, and yeah, I like the design of it. Yeah, I, I, 
I saw it as I found it smaller than I expected for sure. Um, you know, you see all these pictures yeah. out there, and it's like it was hard to get a really good vibe, of, especially when you see like how big like PlayStation Five looks, and uh, you know, even they, even through comparison, like I imagine these like, things are both big. But yeah, I found it like I was already already ready for like the the height of it when lying sideways to be mm. a potential problem. Luckily for me, it actually fits perfectly into every spot I could come up with. Um, but I, but I think for me as well that I you know I usually have all these things. I recently like built two PCs, so and I have everything sitting beside a PC setup. So because of that, you know, the, what I have to compare it to is a PC, right? It is a full size <laughs> PC tower. Yeah. And like the Series X compared to a PC tower is so different. Like it's not even a quarter of the size of a PC tower. So like because of that, like it's it, it feels so dwarfed in scale, right? Like it seems like this tiny little, it's just this, this little pa this box. I like yeah. it. <laughs> I love that you um, are talking about like you have it to compare to a PC because we're going to get more of that insight because you do play a lot on a uh, PC as well. But I want to go into something that you mentioned before the podcast started. Um, how exactly do you have all your Xbox consoles set up, Dan? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really put them on blast on the wow. podcast. Uh, it's not a big deal. You know, I got, <laughs> I got, <laughs> I got a PC. I got a PS4 pro. I got a, Xbox One X and I got an Xbox Series X, you know, they're all how are they arranged? How are they arranged? Oh, they arranged? Oh, um, yeah. you know, they're the consoles, you know, they're they're <laughs> they, got, they got flat surfaces. Um, okay. Yeah. Right. And uh, you know, like where better to put your coffee cups? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Chad, oh, I'm just man. Gonna, uh, you're not. He, this is okay. This is where I want Dan to go. This is where no, wait, Dan's what? going. He's going all around. But the actual thing is, okay, so Dan, we learned that Dan arranges his Xboxes on top of each other, stacked like Legos. <laughs> no, because they don't um, connect. They just sit <laughs> conveniently like and Jenga. perfectly, might I say. They look great. It takes up no room. It's, it, is my, it is my tower of power. Hmm. With the king on the top <laughs> being the, the, the Series X. And wait, so you have the Series X on top. What's at the bottom? PS4 Pro. Okay. And your consoles have not broken yet. Huh? Uh, they don't have... I, I put... This wasn't haphazard. I put thought into this. <laughs> I, I, I seriously really? did. Yeah. Because the PS4 Pro <laughs> is angled. It is the least kind of stack on toppable, unless you made it the top one, in my opinion. Because all the, everything okay. else is just like a rectangle or a brick. So that's on the bottom. So it has this nice little curve on the bottom, like a little foot. And then you have the, the Series X, which is just, you know, a rectangle. And then, you, I, mean the, I mean, the Xbox One X was rectangle. And then you got the Series X on top. It's, it's laying sideways. I looked. I checked where the vents were. There are no okay, vents okay. hitting the other consoles. It's perfect. All right. Okay. You heard it from Green Skull himself, Jenga don't Master. Don't try this at home. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do try not. It at home. No. <laughs> Please don't. Because I feel like I, I want to know eventually if you, maybe set a camera up on that setup just so I could see when the cracks start hitting into any of those consoles. Because I feel like that's probably what's going to happen. Or best case <laughs> scenario, they all melt into one. Mm. Oh, the ultimate console. Yeah. Mm, like my friend's that. little like brother, that. when I was little, tried to put two games into the Xbox thinking they'd combine. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and no. Couldn't open, no, no. He couldn't, he couldn't reopen it. He couldn't reopen the disk drive. <laughs> oh, no. So if something like that That's happens, I'm hoping at least a disk drive is still available. Sure. Damn. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Uh, Steve, I hope you're not doing the same thing. Don't do it. No. Oh, God, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you hear oh the God, disgust no. in his voice? No. With like, oh, God, no. <laughs> to be oh, fair, God, I'm just not no. as brave as Dan. I'm a, I, I'm I just a brave like, boy. Yeah, it's you've got nice a lot of courage, and I commend that. Um, <laughs> no, to go back to the, the design of these consoles, uh, I, I love them both. Uh, I think that I, I really respect how versatile they are because this is the one uh, true console that I feel like it... It's built to be put on both sides, whether you're team vertical or team horizontal. I, I don't think it really matters in this specific scenario. Um, the one thing I do really want to bring up um, on both of these consoles that I think isn't going to be talked a lot about are the like accessibility nodes on the on the back of them, right yes. underneath the ports. Yeah. Yes. What a great touch. 
Mm -hmm. I, I, I think that literally, makes yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, for those that don't know, uh, when they open up their boxes and get their console on their hands, like on the back, underneath every single port, there's like um, almost is essentially braille, um, just kind yeah. of identifying whether it's a USB port, a SSD port, Ethernet, etc. And you know, for people who are who don't have you know the best site, or even if for just everyone not having to reach and pull out their console just to find yeah. what they're trying to plug in. I think that's a huge step. And I really commend the Microsoft team for just thinking about including that. Listen, um, I, I love my PlayStation 4 Pro here in front of me, but the way that it's set up mm -hmm. makes it very hard, especially when I'm unplugging the Ethernet cable to put it into my Xbox to fit. Like, where is that thing, dude? Right. <laughs> like, where is that? Yes. If, I'm, if I'm using a different HDMI cable or whatever, like, come on. <laughs> Dude, to this <laughs> day, to I, I always guess wrong on the PlayStation button, whether it's the power button Same. or the disc. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think no. I've ever gotten it right first try. Nope, I'm either. always no. second guessing myself. I'm like, no, you're going to be right this time. It's this one. <laughs> wrong yeah. again. Every time. And the worst yeah. part is a, it's a 50 50 shot. How am I wrong oh, totally. every single time? Yes, exactly. <laughs> no, well, and I part... think that's because, yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say the worst part is if you have a disc in there, but it's a game you don't really want to play <laughs> and then you eject that and you're like, well, now I got to put this back in and then the game's going to start and then you got to quit out. Yes. It's a whole disaster. <laughs> yeah. Well, and I think right, with the ahead. PlayStation uh, 4 or PlayStation uh, Pro, right? There's like this grid-like pattern at the back of the console. So yeah. when you're trying to feel where to put your HDMI cable in, you're like, is that it? Is that it? And it's like, no, that's just the lining, the like pattern on the back of the console. And you're like, okay, is that it? It just, it's very inconvenient. And with the Series X, it keeps up that sleek, like just these are the ports on the back. And you had that with the One X as well. I think the One X also may have had on the HDMI cable or like the port, just a little dot to acknowledge that the HDMI cable goes in there as well. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, they expanded it as well with the Series X having that on each port. So if you are having trouble finding those ports, it's really easy for you to just feel around. And that's the thing, like when you are putting up your console, usually it's backed on a wall. It's yeah. the back is away from right. you. So, so you can't yeah. see any of that. It's backed but on a wall, stacked on other consoles, you know. <laughs> It's a whole adventure just sure, to get yeah. to plug right. it in. Yeah. However you want to put it. Yeah, so it, it's really great that you have that option here. Um, one thing that I also like is they keep that uh, that hello from Seattle, mm. uh, which is on all of their Xboxes. And it's just neatly at the bottom if you're standing your Xbox Series X vertically. Um, it's at the bottom. It says hello from Seattle. And I, I, I like started uh, on the Zune, actually. It's the first time they ever started doing that. Oh. Fun, fun. Oh, where, is that on the one for you. where is that on the One X? At the, you know how there's the circular base if you're standing up vertically, your One X? No, 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 the One X. Oh, sorry, on the One X? Yeah. One X, I believe it's at the bottom of the console. I, I, I can't, oh, okay. I don't have the console here. Yeah, I, I didn't know that was a thing. I, I yeah. did not know this was a thing, but that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. and like even the, the, um, the, uh, sleekness of like just it being like a monolith right like you yeah. <laughs> you it just looks so cool and then at the top you have like the circular uh green dots like for hours i was just like turning it to see the green move through the through the dots where the fan is and mm -hmm. it, it's just a really nice sleek design that i think makes sense like when we look for a next gen console, I think people are looking for something that looks very familiar to what they already have. Yep. And we're kind of getting that with that like same color, it's the same black, it's sleek, it's it's just much larger. And for myself, like I did have an issue with the size um, when I started because uh, in my entertainment like unit, my shelf, there's just a slot where all my consoles sit and it's just shy of mm -hmm. the space I need for the Series X. So mm -hmm. to face horizontally, which I was planning to, to do that, but instead now I just have it up on the glass and it actually, it, it creates like a nice little feng shui thing going on because like, it just looks very like stylish and mm -hmm. it just makes me feel good. So, so I, I actually like it that. It got me, me out of my, it, no, seriously it <laughs> does because about. it goes, I have like a ye yellow plot with a. I got I got it. bad feng shui in my place. You don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have bad feng shui. Your don't apartment's stack your cursed because of like this. That. It's, it's super cursed. <laughs> but yeah, no, like Camille, Camille this, you just like, gotta you just gotta get out the belt sander, just sand it down a little bit. No, no, just, don't do that. Do not sand your Series X. Do not do that. What? It,
it, it's it's nice because <laughs> I feel like when we get a console, we want it to be exactly what we want it to be. When sometimes innovation in design is a, is a nice change for us. So mm -hmm. so I like it provides those options for us. Now turning on the console, um, I don't know about you guys. When I first turned on the console, I was hoping to hear that Xbox sound. Um, really? And yeah, yeah. heard it. When I say I remember it, I don't remember it because the console is so goddamn fast. Did I get it wrong? I don't even Dan hear that. Face. No, you, you, Dan made a you face. got it. Yeah, yeah, it was, right? it was, yeah, that was good. That's, that's Dan, there's full judgment from somebody who's stacking consoles <laughs> in his household right now. I'm just realizing now that like I, I literally have never have audio on when I do like a hard reset on a console, like ever. So well, you don't really? hear the, for, uh, for all I know, it's like the Fox. No, because it's like, well, I'll, I'll either be rooting it through like a, a, a capture card or something and not have like sound going, or it just won't have like a hard reset turn on. So it'll just be it like, comes you know, through the console. Like, yeah, the, 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 when you press the button oh! to turn on. You're lost. I thought, <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you. I thought you meant like the boot up. Because I, I thought you like. I'm like, what are you guys talking uh, about? The Series X has a cool boot up. I'm like you guys are nuts. It's wicked. You know, you're no, right. The little boot do. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. my excuse for that is that all my consoles are the fancy ones. That is like a, a Gears of War scream. It's like. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, That's cool. Or is that the disc drive uh, on the Gears one? The Gears one. Yeah, it's like a screech. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I don't know. The sound stopped working noise. after I got like five consoles high. It just gets muffled <laughs> you out. Squeeze, That's a drawback. Squeeze the sound out of it. <laughs> yeah.